Okay guys, welcome back to Exploring Temecula. If you are planning on moving to Temecula, you need to watch these videos coming up over the next month. I'm going to be comparing like communities in Temecula to give you an idea of what community is going to work best for you and your family. Today we are doing Roripaw Ranch and Summers Bend. In regards to location, they're very similar. Uh, I would call it both uh, Northeast Temecula. If you are driving for work every day, both of these locations, especially if you have to go south, are going to add a lot of time to your drive. And I always say this on my videos. If you are driving to San Diego, you, in my opinion, to have a better quality of life, you want to be closer to the 15 freeway and you want to be as south as possible in Temecula literally half an hour each way, probably less an hour a day, maybe even more in your car if you are going to San Diego. So be very careful with the, the community that you pick compared to where you're working. Okay, so next up, let's talk about the HOA, the HOA amenities. First of all, I can tell you that both of these communities have beautiful pools, tennis courts, baseball field and Summers Band. Uh, Summers Band also has this bar area that you can watch TV. They have another building that you can rent out for uh, whatever events you might be wanting. And of course, they both have clubhouses. I would say the biggest difference between the HOA with Summers Band and Roarpaw Ranch Roarpa Ranch is gated, but it is not always guard gated. If it's not guard gated, it's very, very simple to follow somebody in. I guess it does add a layer of security somewhat, uh, but in my opinion, if you really, really want something that is more secure, you're gonna want to look at a guard gated community. Next, I just wanted to give you some video footage of the amenities in both Roarpa Ranch and Summers Bend. So here you go. Okay, so next up I wanted to talk about the tax rates of both communities and this is where, in my opinion, a negative comes in for Summers Bend. Be very careful, uh, I went through around 30 or 40 listings this morning. Tax, Melarus and special assessment, that is not including the 1% or the 1.1% base tax of Riverside County. Special assessments and Melarus are on top of that and they're gonna range from about 3,500 all the way up to 5,500 depending on the home. The benefit of Roarpaw Ranch is your tax rate is gonna be anywhere from 15 to $1,900 Melarus. So you're still gonna have the 1%, but your Melarus is only going to be that 15 to $1,900 a year, which in my opinion, for the age of the home is very, very good for Temecula. Uh, Yes, I can show you homes that have an $800 a year Melarus special assessments, but I would say the average Melarus and special assessment cost for every community in Temecula is going to be that $15 to $2,500 a year. So to get a new community uh, that has a lower tax rate is obviously an advantage. Okay, and a final point, not necessarily in regards to the HOA, but I don't wanna forget this. Remember people from this channel, newer homes in this area are going to have smaller lots overall. You're going to get those 45 to 5,500 square foot lots. If you want a bigger lot, there will be homes available, but they're going to cost more. Uh, what has happened over the last five years throughout all of California, anything built within the last two to five years 
you are going to have that average lot size a lot smaller. Um, just there's not land to build anymore. So the builders are cramming these homes closer and closer together. Okay guys, and finally, I'm gonna go right into the MLS here. I'm just gonna show you the average sales price over the last 180 days for Rohrpaw Ranch and Summers Bend. This could help you um, make your final decision on in regards to what community you want to look at. Uh, so let's get right into the MLS right now. Okay guys, so we're starting with Summers Bend and I just wanted to show you here are the prices. They, they're really the average price in Summers Bend. You, you know, let's call it 850, seven, or 825 to 850. But I did want to point out when I was talking about earlier, all of these lot sizes, look at the lot sizes, 4,000, 5,000, 3,000, 5,000, 4,000. The only lot size that is a little larger is this home right here on Toyon and built in 2022, 4,000 square feet, but it's also 1.2 million. And I'll just show you the size of the lot. It, The home is really big, so the lot size doesn't probably, the pictures don't give it justice, or I mean, it just doesn't seem as big, but this is a massive lot for a new development. And there you have it right there. Okay, so next up we have Rorapa Ranch. And it seems, you know, very similar in regards to pricing. You're going to be at that 825 to 850 average sales price. Of course, some of them are going to be more expensive. But again, guys, lot size. These actually are a little larger than Summer's Bend. On average, 65. You got a 7,000, 6,000, 65, 7,000. So... Uh, you know, you're going to get a, on average, maybe an extra thousand square foot lot going here to Aurora Paw Ranch. 